Hello Fingsters, until now we have seen how we can create a new project and then work on it. Now instead of creating a new project, we will import a pre-existing project in PyCharm. Now you can import a project from your local machine or you can also clone a pre-existing project on a version control system. In this video, we are going to focus on our local machine. So let us have a look how we can import a pre-existing project. If you are on the welcome screen, click on the open option. Now you have to search the path where you have the pre-existing project in your system. I have that in this folder. Now if you look, a project that was created in PyCharm will have a folder icon which resembles something like this. Now let me import my project. So let's click OK. And as you can see, PyCharm will automatically start loading the project for you. Now we have successfully imported or loaded our project. This might take some time depending upon the kind of system you are using. My system is a bit slow. That's why it's taking some time. Now do not worry about the notifications that I am getting. This is majorly because the project that I imported has a version control system integration which I need to configure. I'll be covering that up later in this course though it is not a part of the fundamentals however i'll still include it in this course now let's expand our project and as you can see we have the files within the project now suppose you are already on this screen and you want to open your project from here you also have an option to do that all you need to do is click on file and then click on open and then search your project, select it and click on OK. Now that was quite simple. Now before wrapping up this video, I would like to touch upon another topic wherein I will be showing you how to include external libraries in PyCharm. Now we have a lot of dependencies in this project. So let us create a new project and then let's try to import an external library. So I would name it ext-lib and I'll keep the defaults and create. I'll open it up in this window itself. So this is also a kind of revision or a recap for you. Now our project has been successfully created. Let's quickly go ahead and create a new Python file. I'll name it demo and enter. Now let's use a simple numpy code. Now if you notice numpy is an external library. And Python tells us that we need to import NumPy or we need to include NumPy before we can execute our program. Thus, we have the red bulb which denotes that we have an error in our program. Now, this is not an error. We have the red bulb because we need to import the numpy library which is not a part of python's inbuilt libraries so how can we import this external library it's quite simple you need to open up settings so to do that press ctrl alt and s if you are using windows you can also use the file menu and then select settings now you need to expand project inside project select python interpreter and now 
click on the plus sign now a window opens up where you can search for the external library so the library that we need is numpy so i'll search for numpy and there we go we found numpy i'll select numpy from the menu and you can also specify the version from here so i will keep it default because by default pycharm will install the latest version of numpy and now all you need to do is click on install package now as you can see pycharm has started installing numpy this might take some time depending upon the speed of your internet and the system you are using and as you can see the packages have been successfully installed and numpy is ready to be used now once all the updation procedures are completed we can use the numpy library so that's it now if you have a look or if you look closely you can see that we no longer have an error in our program so let's run our code right click run and as you can see we have a desired output so with that we come to the end of this video please join me in the next video